Welcome to the Buddhist Monroe channel. Annie Collins here. Today we're going to create this lovely floral card. Let's go to the products I used to create this card. <clears throat> the Bountiful Blooms stamp set. This is 33 pieces. We have a, a variety of images, this lovely girl, and three sentiments. We're going to use the Take Time to Smell the Flower sentiment, the Bumblebee, a, bu a little butterfly, <clears throat> and the lovely florals down here. This has a coordinating die set, which is a Bounty Full Blooms die set. You, it has all 33, uh, actually all 30 of the images you can cut out. So I went ahead and stamped and colored and die cut my images that we're going to use today. We have the florals, and I did those four times, and the little bumblebee and butterfly. And I'll have the Copic colors listed in the description box below as well. We also have the Not Your Mama's cardstock. I have the card base here, which is a A2 card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. An extra panel at the same size, four and a quarter by five and a half, and about a two inch by four and a quarter, um, <clears throat> excuse me, actually by five and a half piece of cardstock. We also have our chromomist in turquoise, bumblebee yellow, and in pearl. We're going to bring in our raven detail ink to stamp our sentiment. We're going to use again the sentiment, take time to smell the flowers. So let's jump into our project. First on that little small strip I used the bumblebee yellow. Then I'm going to spray the turquoise chromomist here and I'm just going to use a little water to get it moving even more. And then I'll heat set both the turquoise panel and the bumblebee yellow panel. I like to heat set from front and back to minimize the warpage. Then I'm going to use the pearl chroma mist with a fine detail brush just to create some splatter on both panels. This will give us a little extra shimmer and shine. I'm going to set our turquoise panel to the side, bring in our stick and stamp mat, and stick our bumblebee yellow panel <coughs> into onto that mat. I'm going to bring in the Raven Detail ink to stamp our sentiment. I'm going to stamp the sentiment right in the center of this little strip. I'm using a, an acrylic block to do this. Now I'm going to set that to the side while we adhere our blue panel onto our card base. I'm going to use some tear tape here to go ahead and adhere this also going to bring in a little bit of uh, barely art glue so that I have some wiggle room to get this onto our panel to get our panel onto our card base I should say so I'm removing the backing of our tear tape here and bring in like I said a little um, barely art glue this panel is a bit warped so it's best to use you know some nice strong adhesive I'm gonna get do my best to get it on here as straight as possible <coughs> Then I open the card and apply some pressure from the inside to get my panel on there. Next, I'm going to bring in the flowers that we stamped and die cut, and I'm going to adhere two towards the top and two towards the bottom. And we're going to make this, I should have said, a landscape card. So I'm going to just run them across, just overlapping. And I'm going to make sure that that yellow panel will cover both uh, sets of florals here. And that, for, that yellow panel will be going just across uh, our card. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, up, cut off any of that extra um, florals that are sticking up out from the card base here. Once I do that, I can make sure that I can... my yellow panel will fit nicely. I'm going to pop this up with some foam strips. So I'm going to place those on there. These aren't really thick foam strips. They're pretty low profile. So we'll have a little dimension, but not a lot of dimension to our card. I'm going to trim off any of this extra foam off the yellow panel, which I then adhere our yellow panel to our card base. I'm going to do my best to get this on here as straight as possible. I have to fuss with it a little bit just to get it on here just right. 
once I do, then I can add, <coughs> bring in our little bumblebee and butterfly and adhere those with a little bit of, I have little foam tabs on the back of that, so I'm going to adhere those to the yellow panel. At first I thought I was going to put, it, put them within the flowers, but I like them there on the yellow panel. I'm also going to bring in the um, April Inspiration Box sequence here, which is the Bountiful Blooms Inspiration Box. And I'm going to go ahead and add that, add some to our card. So again, we used our Chroma Mist and Pearl, Chroma Mist and Bumblebee Yellow, Chroma Mist and Turquoise, our Stick and Stamp Mat, and our Bountiful Blooms Stamps and Dyes, along with our Raven Detail Ink. Like always, I'll have everything linked in the description box below. Thank you for being here, and I hope you found some inspiration.